My name is Max Gary. I am a senior at Central High School. Yay. And uh, this piece is dedicated to the guy right here in Let's Grab. I've been conversing with the boogeyman lately. He says that this is just the way God chose to make me. Struck responsibility with a dash of premature wishes. Now they got me in Hell's Kitchen up late doing dishes. Still on the fence about most things. Taking dreams is a choose your own adventure. By the time I find what's needed, I'll still be the middleman. Here in the center, too proud to admit mistaken surrender, but that's not me. Most days I find it hard to sleep or even feel the need to eat. When I'm hit with this thing of letting go what I don't need, I pester on what I can't control but need to keep. This body, literally living off what's left. These appendages buckle under little to no stress. This pounding heart bound to implode within my own chest and this mind of mine. It can't afford the tools to clean up the rest of this mess. My best friends dropped out of school to make sure that food landed on the table. My mom tells me to help when I can, but lately I don't seem able. And if that old man tells me one more time to, to help myself before others, my faith won't be the only thing extinguished by cold winter smothers. Woo! That's just life, right? When I'm trying to find order in a world I can't command, I find myself making lists of all the things that make up man. And in these lists, I put down points that add baggage to my back and put them evenly so they fit even the stack. But this isn't right. When you were younger, I bet you were told to live your life. But when it's like cracking shackles with the remnants of a spreading knife, cliff birds can't leave the ground when missing what's needed for flight. You can't fit me and my bag onto an airplane. But I'm doing the best that I can. And if this doesn't add up to what you define as man, take all the flight plans and diagram self-serving solutions to put the power back into your hand with your fists. They can only grovel as much as your attention span can. Woo! They say that you need to put your oxygen mask on before helping someone with theirs. You said that you need to put your oxygen mask on first. But I can't do this when the only time I can breathe is when my lungs are bound to burst, when the oxygen's degenerated, depleted, dispersed, with these shifty hands cursed to shift and quake. Like I said, I can only give as much as you're willing to take, and that's not saying much. Yeah. As you still sit there, we're not saying much, but we still sit. They say I need to quit. I've been conversing with the boogeyman lately. And quite frankly, it's getting hard to breathe. They say I need to quit blaming God and man alike. You said I need to quit blaming myself first. <laughs>